Also developing tonight, the latest in a rash of auto thefts and carjackings. Take a look at this surveillance video from this afternoon. As a man pumps gas on the near north side, a thief jumps in and drives away. The victim tries yet fails to stop it all. As the CBS 2's Charlie Mar reports on this growing crime spree. Pumping gas around four this afternoon, surveillance video shows a man calmly hopping in and stealing the helpless owner's car as he desperately gives chase near Halstead and Division. Just minutes before in Streeterville, a Lyft driver putting luggage into his trunk also watched his car get stolen. In just the past two days, at least 12 armed robberies and carjackings have been reported across three CPD districts. All three of them jumped out with guns, two on the driver's side, one on the passenger one. Told me to get out the car. Steve Thomas gave up his white charger, just one victim from an overnight crime spree that began in the 1300 block of North Levitt. Three men in surgical masks robbed a woman. Then police say suspects matching that same description robbed two men blocks away on Wellington, taking a car, valuables, even shooting at one of the victims. The chaos continued in Cicero. Two attempted carjackings followed by four armed robberies and one in Berwyn. Once again, wearing surgical masks. Okay, okay. And I just put up my hands and I just, okay, okay. And I'm grateful he didn't kill me because he could have killed me. Renee Friedman Woods was carjacked last year in Chicago, uninjured, but the fear still there. I'm a lot more scared than I ever was in my life. And, and that doesn't go away so fast. And tonight, Chicago police issuing an alert about these armed carjackings and robberies, saying that in, t in these cases, between two and three people are approaching cars and taking off with them. And in some of these cases, police are looking for juveniles. Reporting live tonight, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. And Charlie, they think it's the same group of people that are doing all these carjackings in a short period of time? Tonight, police, they cannot say it. It is the same two to three people, but that is the similar description that police have been getting over and over again. And of course, they have not ruled out a possible connection between all these incidents. Yeah, with the surgical mask. All right, Charlie, thank you.